so kinetic I tried to uh, sideline by saying that the speed didn't change. So if this, uh, that was partly a lie. But at least the kinetic energy is not increasing. If anything, the kinetic energy is probably going down a little bit. As it breaks up, it probably slows down a little bit. Um, gravitational potential energy, nobody answered that. I would take thermal energy goes up. Clearly the thing lights up. I would take bond energy goes up. But really, both of them go up. Bond energy and thermal energy go up. Gravitational, when an asteroid falls to the Earth or a meteor, gravitational potential energy is being converted into chemical bond energy and thermal energy. <coughs> and you can do a calculation of how much and you find out if the asteroid is maybe, I don't know, a quarter of a mile across or something, you know, pretty big chunk of rock. Um, then it comes out to an energy released. Gravitational potential energy released as thermal and bond energy um, of something like trillions of atomic bombs going off all at once. So a whole lot of thermal and chemical bond energy shows up at the surface of the Earth. Uh, 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 plenty, plenty to uh, heat us up and break all of our chemical bonds. Yeah. Um, so, if the meteor burns and it releases heat, won't the atmosphere get heated up? So, like. So, so I actually included the atmosphere in the physical system and just ask you about thermal energy. So I, did, I don't want to distinguish the two. You're absolutely right. I cannot, anything that has friction or air resistance is going to heat up both things. I can't do this and heat up one hand and leave the other one cool. It does, does not happen that way. Both things uh, get more thermal energy. So the air gets, through the atmosphere gets more thermal energy, the asteroid, the meteor gets more thermal energy. Uh, bond energy also of both of those go up. I mean that thing comes blasting through at a high temperature, it's probably going to break up some, some atoms that are, some molecules that are floating around in the atmosphere also. So I, I tried to include enough stuff that that didn't matter. Yeah? So what if I know that the meteor vaporizes as it's falling through the air and that's why bond energy is Yes. I, I would ask you to use your, you know, intuition. I, I would take that, I would take thermal energy as a correct answer. So I will take that as a correct answer. Bond energy, I, you know, if we hadn't talked about it, I would still hope that, that you had heard of, you know, uh, small meteors vaporizing and so not making it all the way to crash in so that, so that you actually have in your, in your standard uh, uh, knowledge about the world that kind of idea. I mean, I'm not going to count you off if you, if you don't, but, but I, I would hope that, that, that you would bring your knowledge of the world to some of these questions as necessary. Any questions about? Suppose I contain N2, nitrogen gas, in a cylinder with a piston on top and the piston is hold, held down by a mass. So that, that's a cross section. It's meant to be a, a cylindrical thing with a piston in the top. So it's like a syringe. If I have a syringe with a with uh, uh, that you push, you push the end of the syringe, you push the piston down, and if you held your hand over the bottom, it's something like that. You've contained whatever's inside and you push down on it. So that's what this is supposed to be. That mass is sitting there to hold it down. So the N2 has a high pressure and if that mass weren't sitting there, the N2 would, would uh, blow the top off of this thing. So that mass is sitting there to, to hold the piston in place. Suppose I push some more masses onto the piston. It moves down and reaches a new equilibrium point. So 
so here's what I'm envisioning. There's this piston here with a mass sitting on it. There's another mass over here and all I do is move it over to where it's on top of it and then I let go and it comes down to a new equilibrium point. So that second mass pushes the gas down some more so that the gas has a smaller volume. So that's the situation. My question is for you is, I'll give you a minute and a half, what energy decreased after I added the new mass? 